<clears throat> All right, let's see if I remember <laughs> how to jailbreak. What is going on guys? Joel here back with another video and it's been a long time since a jailbreak has been like officially out that is working on the latest iOS devices. And I'm here with some great news because there is finally a new jailbreak out available for iOS 11.0 all the way through 11.1.2. This meaning you can actually jailbreak your iPhone 10, your iPhone 8 and 8 plus. And in this video, I'm actually gonna be jailbreaking my iPhone 7 plus because unfortunately my iPhone 10 and iPhone 8 plus, they are on a later version of iOS. 11.2.5 I believe right now um, I've been updating to those later firmwares because of the fact that it supports the home pod and stuff so uh, fortunately my iPhone 10 here uh, cannot be uh, jailbroken because it's running on a later firmware but I'm here on iOS 11.0 which was good news because I'm able to jailbreak now so if you have a compatible iPhone, iPod Touch, iPad, or iPad mini, that's running iOS 11 through iOS 11.1.2, then you'll be able to jailbreak with the new jailbreak tool called Electra, which was developed by Coolstar. You probably are aware of Coolstar if you're into the jailbreak scene. But let's go ahead and start jailbreaking our iOS device. But first, as always, be sure to back up your iOS device in case something goes wrong. So back it up using iTunes, that's what I normally do. And once you have it backed up, we'll need two things. We'll need the Electra IPA, which can be found here on coolstart.org forward slash Electra. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Go ahead and download that by clicking download right here. And then we'll also need the Cydia Impactor tool, which is available for Mac, Windows, or Linux. But once you have those two things, we are ready to start jailbreaking. So next thing we have to do is simply connect your device to your computer. On your device, you'll be sure to hit trust and then type in your passcode if you have a passcode set up. And if iTunes comes up on your computer, you can go ahead and close that out. So the next thing is to open up City Impactor, which is already open here on my screen. This is City Impactor. And then we wanna make sure that the iOS device that you have plugged in that it is being read by City Impactor. So I have my device right here. And all we need to do is grab the IPA, the Electra IPA, and then uh, drag it into City Impactor like this. And right here, we'll need to enter our Apple ID and password. Now, if you do get an error like this, don't panic. Simply go to appleid.apple.com, which is displayed right here on this error message. On this screen, you'll simply sign in to your Apple ID. If you do have two-step verification, you'll get something like this. Go ahead and allow it and then type in the code. But we'll go into the part where it says security and then app specific passwords. Right here, simply click on generate password and then we'll enter a password label. I'm just gonna name it Cydia. Now it will of course generate a password for you and this is the password that you'll use to sign in to Cydia Impactor. So we can head over to our Cydia Impactor once again and then drag over the IPA again and then sign in to your Apple ID email. And then when it asks for the password, this is where you'll type in that generated password that we just did. Now, once that completes, you will notice on your iOS device, if you scroll over all the way to the far right, you will notice Electra. So that's a good sign because we are almost done with the jailbreak. The next thing is just open it up and then you'll get this prompt where it says untrusted developer. We'll have to go into the settings and then trust the developer. So go into settings and go down to general and then we'll go all the way down to where it says profile and device management. Here you'll see your Apple ID email. Go ahead and click on that, hit trust, and then hit trust one more time. 
and then once that's complete we can go back to the Electra app and here we'll have the Electra open up and then just tap on jailbreak. Now this prompt here is just stating that it successfully created an APFS snapshot, meaning you can use semi restore if you ever need to restore your device back to how it was. In case the jailbreak ever messes up or something, you can just revert back. So hit continue jailbreak. And then now it's installing Cydia. It's pretty much a waiting game now. Now once Electra has done its thing, your device will respring. So we can go ahead and unlock it and everything and then go over to the far right. And now you will notice Cydia. So we can open up Cydia now. And once you do open up Cydia, you'll get this prompt where it will have your essential upgrade. And then you can just click on complete upgrade. So we'll do that real quick. And then it'll install everything that's needed for Cydia to be working properly. So my device did close out Cydia, so it might do it for you as well. But go ahead and open up Cydia one more time, and then you will notice that I am fully jailbroken on iOS 11. So iOS 11.0 on here. This is an iPhone 7 Plus, like I mentioned earlier, but you can jailbreak your iPhone 10, iPhone 8, 8 Plus, all that good stuff. As long as you're running any version between 11.0 all the way to 11.1.2. So that is it for this jailbreak, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for some videos. Let me know by hitting that like button if you are excited for a jailbreak once again. And also let me know if you wanna see future jailbreak videos again. Be sure to leave some comments down below of what you wanna see in a future video. Who knows, maybe we'll bring these jailbreak videos back once again on a consistent basis. So yeah, let me know your thoughts. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you're not yet following me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. All my links will be down below in the description. Be sure to follow me on those. That way you'll stay up to date with what is going on. And lastly, if you feel like being awesome and you want to see some jailbreak videos, be sure to subscribe because I'm pretty sure I'll be making some in the near future. Also, be sure to hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of future jailbreak videos or any other tech videos at all. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right, peace.